In Egypt, a king had died after teeth extraction. His 16-year-old son hurried back from Britain to take the throne. Farouk. In London, his ministers sought closer ties with Britain through the British Foreign Secretary. The little black clouds of Ethiopia and sanctions were to be good training for Anthony Eden for greater crises to come. And talking of little black clouds, the new German ambassador arrived in London, Herr von Ribbentrop. That day it rained. Over the Bay of Naples in Italy, Vesuvius added her quota to international gaiety by staging an eruption. Quite a show. Knowing the Italian sense of humor, no doubt these outpourings of molten lava and hot air must have evoked many a satirical comparison with certain bombastic statesmen of the time. On the subject of hot air, somebody in 1936 brought out a new kind of gasless balloon. First you pumped air into the bag, then you got all the lift you wanted to raise you into the sky by heating up the aforementioned air with a burner. Highly ingenious, but when you think of it, surely highly inflammable as well. Progressive, but short-lived, but no doubt highly entertaining. And talking of entertainment, what movies were you looking at in 1936? The studios were busy in Hollywood and Elstree. Maybe it was Mimi with Douglas Fairbanks Jr. and Gertrude Lawrence. I've never seen Paris from so high up before. And I've never seen it looking more lovely. I was always told it was a long way up to heaven. It was worth the climb. That face is Jack Buchanan. That is Googie Withers. And remember Edward Everett Horton? Good morning, sir. Good morning, madam. And it is a good morning, with the birds singing in the air, heavy with the fragrance of a hundred species of rampant flora. Oh, it's good to be alive, sir. Vibrant, tingling, full of animal spirits. Shut up! Buchanan against Jack LaRue. On the other hand, you might have seen Stanley Lupino and Laddie Cliff trying to cope with American heavyweight champion Max Baer. He'll stand up and fight me like a man. I'll give him the first three punches. Did you hear what the gentleman said? Yes, uh, yes. You got the first three punches. Well, I'm not worrying about the first three punches, it's the floor. Conference. Yes. <laughs> where shall I hit him? In the dining room. In the where? In the dining room or the pantry. Well, couldn't I go around the back and put my foot through his scullery window? <sighs> Excuse me. Thank you. Oh, my head. 